Welcome back to an episode of Warp Jester Plays War Games. Tonight I am joined by uh, the great and one powerful Oz. No, uh, Silverfire, a.k.a. Crispin, a.k.a. Tweak. Good evening. And as always, we try to get uh, Cosmic and uh, Watwick on with us, but we don't have the fortune of ever actually getting into the same queue and into the same gay on the same time. <sighs> yeah... I'm going to stop complaining about this now, but I still really, really dislike that. So what's the plan, Stan? We're living it. Living uh, dream. Going to let this little Germany 7 Brazil who, Inikaze, get ahead of us and throw some torps around the corner. Then maybe even set up a little bit of a smoke screen. Germany 7 Brazil who? That would be the guy to your starport. Yeah, I, I see him. To your starport. <laughs> Starporting across the universe. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, so I just got my new uh, Tier 5 battleship. So I'm taking it out for a spin. And I'm still on HE, damn it. If, if you get the spins in that thing, I'm going to be surprised. I get the what? If you're taking it out for a spin, uh, enter that <laughs> thing for shit. Oh, there's, oh, oh, there's a phoenix over there. Within range. Yep. And he has seen you. Yep. Oh, was a, I didn't see the cruiser next to me. It's already trying to light me up. Yeah, that would be the phoenix. I was, I was gonna bounce behind him. Rise, asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 11, 10, 9, hurry up! Oh, destroyer! There is a destroyer popping smoke right there. Oh, three hits! Really? Oh, Jesus, they're just lighting my ass up. Oh, jeez, you got Torps coming at you. Yep. I got the kill. Motherfucker, I, I go out there get my ass lit on fire, and you get the goddamn kill. Well, I did fucking light his ass up. Did I not? You heard me say surprise, asshole, and you saw half of his life go away. So. Church is so slow. Oh, we got him turned. That's awesome. I am I am screwed. I'm on fire and I can't heal and I can't repair. So I'm out. Sucks. Yeah, that was pretty shitty, actually. <laughs> I, I think it's one part how, of being how are you, tired. How are you both? I bet you were also flooding. No, I was not flooding. Really? Because I saw you take a tour. I didn't you take a tour. You after? I never uh, took... You were right on the edge, and I watched the torpedo hit you. It never went off on me. 
<laughs> I swear to you, I'm very particular about that. I don't like flooding. It always seems to be the case with me. Is always, the first time I take a new ship out, it's just an absolute rotten experience. Someone else got the... Dang it. I was so close to getting another kill there. Hmm. Yeah, I apologize, guys. My, my commentary is a little bit uh, lacking tonight. It's, it's pretty darn late. We played a lot of games already. And uh, I am pretty darn worn out. But uh, that was the uh, Congo Tier 5 Japanese uh, battleship. Um... Definitely but you don't want to go marching into battle and being the first thing that people see. The Congo has a very, very long range and can hit things from very far away, provided you can actually point your mouth. Yeah. But just and don't be the first thing. Just don't be the first you thing You never want to be the first thing regardless. You don't want to be the first target. Nobody ever does, but somebody has to be. And I happen to be over on the side of the map when things started. Unfortunately, I just didn't see the cruiser in time to start laying me laced in him, so I put my first rounds into the battleship behind him. Hindsight? Need to pay a little more attention, certainly. But, uh, nonetheless, uh, the Congo's a nice upgrade. It's got a better range, as Silver's already pointed out, than the last uh, tier, which is my Miyogi. It's got an extra turret with an extra two barrels, so I'm getting a few more rounds that I can put down range. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, the turret are, are just horrendously slow to turn around, and I, I already went and plugged in some modules for that, and I actually got the accuracy module instead of the rotation module, which, yeah, I definitely want the accuracy, especially if I really want to hang back at long range. That said, man, coming around and waiting for my turrets for another half hour for them to finally get their, their act together, that was a less than enjoyable experience to say the least so it's unfortunate but uh, as I get a chance to play this uh, ship a bit more I'll have more time to get used to its quirks and its perks at least that's my hope <laughs> so I'm gonna follow uh, follow us over here with this New York it's a very interesting layout and the fact that it's got the Two, uh, two turrets front and aft, uh, and then you've got that one random ass turret stuck right in the middle. It just seems like a little bit oddball. Hey, how did the battleship just dis There he is. Oh, there's one. Oh, of the oh! There's the scene. I'm torn. <laughs> Which target do I go for? <laughs> This, this one's got so much, but, well, 33,000, 30, so, okay, so one's got less health and is shooting at me. Yeah, but you, you can but put... But the other one's so pretty! You, you can put holes through a carrier pretty darn quickly. Carriers are not nearly as armored as uh, battleships, so you put ar you put rounds through the carrier and they're going to go down a lot quicker. And you've got a cruiser uh, tagging with you, so... Oh god, and that those uh carrier's not moving. Oh, he's a smart one. There's a whole big old pack of hurt going on right now. So the the enemy battleships have dive bombers and torpedo bombers coming in on them. And the uh Allied uh carrier has his fighters way the hell off from anywhere that those uh, bombers are at, so... I don't know. I'm going to say the best judgment right there. One thing uh, Silver's on the hard way is uh, if you have a lot of fighters in the sky, you really need to keep them between, you know, the enemy and your team's ships. I had a big chunk taken out of that carrier already. Sound like he looks like he's pretty much hosed there. That 
fingertips might kill. Because he can put more rounds downrange in a shorter amount of time, I'm going to be seriously disappointed. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I kill. <laughs> Last battleship. I think we get there in time. Uh, yeah, actually. What's the range on your New York? Uh, fifteen seven. Oh, okay, so yeah, he's well within range. Down, Cap. Our team has taken the lead. Mm -hmm. I ain't hitting shit right now. What if they have a options button to change the uh, alt details? To First they do. Balls. You hold down Alt, or you just go into the menu and turn on alternate uh, targeting info. It, it actually bogs down the game a little bit, though. Setting controls. Display alternate battle. There we go. Thank you. I figured there had to be. I just hadn't looked yet. Oh, that's much nicer. That is much nicer. I like having that up because it, it's. I'm always having to look at it anyway, so I'd rather just have it up all the time. And so if they were smart about it, they could at the very least have it as a flip button so that when you hold down Alt, it takes it away. We went. Ah, uh, I see. And we didn't have any visitors. I only got 923 XP, though. 586. 26 hits to destroy. <laughs> Nine hits. whoop de do. All right, well, that's it for this game. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next round here. We'll be back. I agree.